Hey guys, Mr. Burns here, and uh, I'm giving you guys another video on algebra tiles. And this video in particular is on adding polynomials with algebra tiles. Okay, alrighty. So uh, we got a couple of polynomials here that we are adding together. The easiest way to do them using using algebra tiles is to simply represent each polynomial with the algebra tiles first. If you don't know how to do that, you might want to check back to my other video that I did on representing polynomials with algebra tiles. Brief introduction. It's only a couple minutes long. Check it out. Uh, you can try and follow along here if you want. All right, so I got 2x squared, so I got two of these bad boys. Let me go full screen. So, um, two of these guys. And then I got three of these guys. So I got one, two, three. And then one of these guys. So this is 2x squared, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. And then this guy, I've got a negative x squared, so I've got a red one. If you're forgetting these are positive and these are negative, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning. I got plus 2x, so I got two of these guys. And then I have three of these guys. So subtract three, it's the same as negative three. So one, two, three. Now, I'm going to mention to you guys a couple very important terms. Um, first one being, uh, the first two terms, I should say, are like and unlike terms. You may have heard them before. Uh, you may have heard of, heard of them before, um, but you're really maybe not sure what they are. Well, pretty much what they are, like and unlike terms, uh, well, like terms are any terms that are the same. For instance, uh, x and x are the same terms, okay, or 2x and 3x. They have the same variable, so they're the same uh, term, okay? Unlike terms are terms that are different. So like x and x squared, or uh, 3 and x, or 3 and x squared, they're different. Now, before I used to teach polynomials in the old grade 9 program without algebra tiles, I just would simply uh, show, you know, this x squared, this is x, these are different, okay? A lot of students had trouble recognizing what, what, what like terms and unlike terms were. Well, that's the beauty of algebra tiles. If you're not sure whether two terms are different, then think about their algebra tile. We know that x squared here is different from x, okay, x squared is different from x, because they're represented by a different tile, okay? That is really all there is to know about that, okay? If they're represented by a different tile, then they are a different term. <clears throat> all right, so sorry about that, guys. Someone was at the door. All right, so if they're represented by a different algebra tile, then they're uh, like terms, or sort of they're unlike terms. So what it means when they're unlike terms is that you can't simply add them together. Like if you had a 4 and a x, you can't add those together. They're different. And, you know, in an elementary school classroom or primary classroom, you might say, well, what's two apples plus three apples? Well, it's five apples. Well, two apples plus three oranges is not some hybrid fruit it's simply two apples and three oranges that's all we have so like 4x plus you know 4 it's 4x plus 4 it's not 8x it's not 8 it's just 4x plus 4 that's it all right so that's a key term to sort of get out of the way here now let me delete that let me get my pen back out again it's the only thing i don't like about going full screen here is is uh Gets rid of my little tools. I know you can get the toolbar on the side here, but it's just annoying. Maybe I'll figure that out for another day. All right, so the next thing we need to know, uh, next term we need to know are, are called zero pairs. Okay, I'm sort of dragging this out a little bit, I know, guys. Well, zero pairs are like opposites. They're like terms, but they're opposite like terms. Okay, so like uh, an x squared and a... Uh, negative x squared are zero pairs. They're different colors, 
they're opposite. One is positive, one is negative, but they're exactly the same. They make a pair. What happens to those is they cancel out. Okay? It's like one subtract one is zero. Okay? When you add them together, you get zero. They cancel out. So knowing that fact, it really allows us to use algebra tiles. Zero pairs allows us to use algebra tiles. And you've probably seen zero pairs when you're adding integers. You know, you start out adding integers and you start with negative three plus two. You got three red tiles and two yellow ones and then you cancel it and you're left with negative one, one red one. So you've probably seen them before. This works much the same. Let's make some zero pairs. So we got this guy and this guy. That's a zero pair. So we can go, they're gone. This guy and this guy, zero pair. They're gone. And then we combine our like terms. So um, there's no other like terms besides my x tiles. So these are like terms. So they all go together. Okay. They all go together. So now what I'm left with here, go back to my full screen, or my regular screen. I'm left with x squared plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5x, and then minus 2. So x squared plus 5x minus 2, that's my addition problem right there. Done. Okay. So I added my two polynomials using my algebra tiles. All right, let me come up with one more example here. Let me delete this stuff. I sort of dragged that one out a little bit longer than I would have liked to. So let me see. I just dragged one off the top of my head. Negative 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 plus... Uh, negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 3. All right, so let's let's create this uh, algebra tile. Let's create this polynomial. So a negative 3x, 1, 2, 3, plus 2x, so positive 2x, minus 5. So 1, 2, 3. Four, five. And I got my next polynomial. So one, two, and then negative two x. Oh, those are negative. Sorry. One, two, negative two x. One, two, and positive three. One, two, three. All right. So remember your first step. Your first step is to eliminate zero pairs. Okay. So if you look here, I got one, two, zero pairs, one, zero pair, sorry. Here we go. And another one. Okay, so it's another zero pair. That's gone. Another one, another pair. We got another set of zero pairs. And then finally, these. Okay. So now what we do, we combine our like terms. I'll move these two little guys over here and combine these. And then these two guys are left as well. So what you see happen is I my all my x tiles cancel it, which is entirely possible to happen. Okay, they cancel it to be zero. So what I'm left with is negative 5x squared, 5x squared minus 2. So in that case, when there's no x tiles left, there's no need to write 0x. There's no need for that. Just leave it out completely. Move on. Okay? All right, guys. I hope this helped with adding polynomials with algebra tiles. Let me know if you need any uh, more problems with this stuff. If you want a few more complicated examples, uh, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.